There is not a crime crisis in Washington, D.C. Violent crime is up 39 percent this year, with homicides seeing a 28 percent increase. Yes, I support the defund movement. There'll be no need for for police overrunning our communities. There's no need now. A member of Congress carjacked at gunpoint. Three attackers confronted Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar of Texas as he parked his car. It happened at an apartment building. This was about a mile from the Capitol. This is the second incident involving a member of Congress this year. You may remember Minnesota Congresswoman Angie Craig was attacked in her apartment building. These incidents just raising concerns about safety in the nation's capital. We are going to reduce funding in the police department. I've had my window smashed. I've been broken into. When we said defund the police, the world woke up. And now it's a mainstream conversation and we're getting places that we weren't able to get before. A gentleman came in here and pulled a knife on one of my employees. I do believe that we need to re reallocate resources away. We can't police ourselves. We need authority to come into our communities. In some necessary cases, completely dismantling those police forces. 28% of retailers are closing locations due to crime. We could release a third of our prisoners and not make anyone less safe. People are watching folks stroll out of the store with impunity. They're stealing in broad daylight. Everyone's going to keep stealing. People broke into stores all across Philadelphia taking whatever they could get their hands on. It is wrong-headed thinking to think that the only way you're going to get communities to be safe is to put more police officers on the street. The crime scourge grips U.S. cities and Americans demand solutions. We're feeling this now. Going to a store and they're in and out within eight minutes. That's very, well, Plan. The second group, impressionable young people triggered by a flash mob. Not only do we need to disinvest for in police, but we need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. The defund the police narrative contributes to the current crime wave. You have staff members that are scared to uh, approach, you know, shoplifters because they don't know they're armed. Do those images sicken you? It's one of those things where you say, where are we going now? Senator, any reaction to the crime crisis in America? Crime is rampant, and this is what the Democrats wanted. They got it. Now they're trying to pretend that this isn't what they intended, but this is absolutely the result of Democrat policy.